Well, my name's Jill Richards and I'm a peer recovery navigator and I work for Bristol Community Rehabilitation Service. Health problems myself in the past, um, I can draw upon that experience and try to help serve current service users with the difficulties they're experiencing. Well, I would say we're a service that is uh, very much focused on going out into the community, into people's homes and uh, helping them work towards a meaningful recovery in their lives. That might not be what some people think of as recovery, returning to work, or, but it's having some quality of life that is meaningful to them. They could expect um, people who are in the, in the profession because they care about their job and the people they want to help. And having been uh, someone who's used the services myself, I, I can really see that in, in this team that I work for. I've worked for the team now for just over a year and um, after some settling down because at one time I was uh, perhaps felt like on the other side of the table, you know, and suddenly I'm, I'm working with a psychiatrist and um, occupational therapist, CPN. So it took some settling down, but uh, I, very, I feel very much part of the team. And um, so, yes, we, I feel we're a very experienced team and enthusiastic team, and we, Initially, people would um, receive an assessment, so that usually means two people going along to their home and uh, assessing what their needs might be and if the ser service is appropriate for them. And then if it was felt this is the case, um, we would uh, bring the assessment to a team meeting, weekly team meeting, and it would be decided who would be best suited to try and help this person. So that might mean um, one person helping them or three, four people. So some people might have up to three, four visits a week. It is very intensive and so this is very new. Um, certainly from my own experience, the, the service was um, a lot less uh, resourced not so very long ago and uh, so I feel it, it's, it's working towards the right way for mental health services. Well, um, a person can go to their GP um, or they could self-refer, uh, they may be seeing an occupational therapist or other professionals and um, so they could be referred through them or, as I say, themselves. We're based at Brunswick Square in, um, in St Paul's, so the centre of Bristol, and uh, we're in uh, the Second Step offices. Um, Second Step are um, one third of the, the service, um, we're, so we come under the NHS Second Step, a missing link who concentrate on the female side of things. Um, and so uh, that's where we're based, but um, we spend time there doing admin team meetings, but we obviously go out in the community to visit people, whether in their homes or meeting them out in the community if they've been able to move on enough to leave their own homes. I'd recommend our service because it's very well resourced in, in terms of um, staff having a clinical psychologist, psychiatrist, occupational therapist, CPN and peer workers like myself, which is relatively new. Uh, Second Step have been pioneers in Bristol for um, bringing peers into their organisation and um, paying them and seeing them as value, being valued like anyone else in the, in the service. And I do think that um, having peer workers is, a, is really a way forward because we 
are able to understand in perhaps a different way than other professionals who have been trained in the service what it's like to actually feel some of these experiences which can be extremely distressing and disturbing and uh, and having had some experience of using the services ourselves. I enjoy working with my team. I think we work well together and we're very supportive of each other and keen to teach each other as well. But my main uh, enjoyment is when I've been working with someone and they have been in a very, very difficult place and they begin to show signs of improvement and wanting to move on in their lives and having some sense of hope. That, that's really what, what the benefits are to me, especially as I've had experience myself of these difficulties. Mm -hmm.